The Auburn Opelika Review, your weekly look at the people, places, events, and nightlife that make up the Auburn Opelika area. An exclusive presentation of the Alabama Cable Network and RNB Media. More of the Auburn Opelika Review right after this. JR Sports Bar and Grill has two locations in Sylacauga and Alexander City. They're open 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday. JR's has specials every day of the week. All you can eat wings for 11.25 from 5 to 8.30 on Wednesdays, and every day of the week, kids with uniforms eat for $1.99. Also, don't forget to let JR's host your next team party or work luncheon. For your next party, give JR's catering service a call. That's JR Sports Bar and Grill, Alabama Street in Alexander City and just off Highway 280 in Sylacauga. Lee Apparel is proud to announce that we are expanding to a full-service marketing company. Lee Marketing Group offers four great brands. Lee Apparel for t-shirts, polos, and promotional products. Southern Sports for athletic uniforms and equipment. Sign Source is a full-service sign provider. And r and Media for website design and TV and radio production. Now with two great locations, Highway 280 in Dable and Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lee Marketing Group, bringing your name to the world. In keeping with the period history at Crossroads, Springhouse is a restaurant that not only honors the natural surroundings in its physical presence, but also celebrates excellent homegrown products through its menu. Chef Rob McDaniel will serve fresh and seasonal southern food with a casual, sophisticated elegance without pretense. Springhouse reflects the timeless bounty of the region and the boundless talents of its farmers. Visit us online at www.springhouseatcrossroads.com and stay informed of all the latest happenings at Springhouse. We'll see you there. Excitement awaits you on beautiful Lake Martin. Alex City Marine Striper Guide Service can provide you with the charter trip of a lifetime. Charter Guide David Hare has over 20 years experience on Lake Martin, specializing in live bait for trophy stripe bass while using only the best equipment on his 24-foot Triton 240 LTS center console. Whether one person or 40, Alex City Marine Striper Guide Service can accommodate your group with its fleet of available guides. So call Alex City Marine Striper Guide Service today at 256-215-FISH for your charter trip of a lifetime. I'm here with the executive chef one Rob McDaniel. How you doing today, Rob? Doing good. How are you? Good. Thanks so much for having us here. Rob, talk about Springhouse and the menu that you guys have here. Well, Springhouse kind of uh, people ask the question a lot of what kind of what type of cuisine do I cook, and I guess it's most formulated um, from my my growing up in the South. And uh, in front of us, we have a slab of uh, smoked bacon that uh, Chef James just did. It just came out of the oven. Um, we, you know, we've never bought a slab of bacon. We've always smoked our own. And I uh, look back at the way I grew up with my grandparents and my grandmothers and the food that they prepared and my parents as well. And um, that's kind of how we formulate our menus. You know, it's southern food, and we put our own twist behind it. James and I both um, have been to culinary school and have worked in some of the best restaurants in Alabama. And so we try to do that in everything that we do. That's fantastic. And, Rob, you guys changed the menu periodically how often do you change the menu correct we you know we try to change the menu a little bit every week they may be subtle changes whether it's the type of soup that's on there the type of protein that we have we were just talking about the type of steak that we usually have um, and and try to focus on local cuisine as much as possible um, local chicken rabbit duck um, all things that are coming from local farmers uh, from around here Auburn Coosa County um, Lafette uh, Roar Valley Farms, which is in Coosa County, Randall Farms in Auburn, and uh, Ledbetter Acres, which is in Lafette. We get a lot of stuff from those guys, and um, they, they, they produce proteins and, and vegetables that are um, found in this area. So, um, you know, it's all local and it's organic uh, for the most part, and um, we just like to support those guys because they're in the community as well. Two locations that are crucial to the success of Springhouse, the Promontory and the Whale House. Could you talk about those two, please? Absolutely. Uh, the Promontory is, is upstairs. It's our dining room upstairs. If you've ever been here, you may find yourself sitting up there at some point in time. 
and uh, you know it's 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 just a nice quaint place uh, during the winter time when it's a little bit slower we do dinner service from up there it, it allows us to utilize the space to its full capacity we've got a smaller kitchen up there um, it's a little bit more intimate and during the summertime we'll do a different menu from time to time up there and offer some different things for date night when mom and dad kids are at the lake with a babysitter come and have a glass of wine and grab a bite to eat um, or just come out and try to get something different and and then the well house is the opportunity uh, for private dining and it's it's very unique to the area uh, I think you walk through our uh, reserve wine storage as you get to the well house um, watch the sunset and come in and we can do a menu uh, a tasting menu for you or, or you can just order off the menu either way you want to do it uh, and we'll specify the dinner however however suits your purpose well, Rob, one fun thing you guys do here at Spring House is you have cooking classes. Now, I know you've got one tonight. Correct. Talk about those and, and give me some examples of some of the things that you've done at these cooking classes. You know, it, it depends. Uh, this week or this month, we're doing, of course, Thanksgiving uh, type things. Um, not your normal Thanksgiving food, though. We're going to do uh, cauliflower gratin, uh, a soup. Uh, we'll talk about how to roast turkeys and things of that nature, but more so kind of get out of the rut of your normal um, cornbread dressing and green beans, which is good, but by the third stop on Thanksgiving Day, uh, I think everybody wants something different. And so we're, we're just giving a little alternative to something that you can do. That's fantastic, and a lot of my family and friends have done those classes and had an absolute ball doing those. Do you pair wines with your entrees and desserts? We do. We don't pair them on the menu because a lot of folks have their own idea of what they want to drink and, you know, may not be into the wine pairing, um, but we're happy to do that whenever you're, you know, whenever you'd like to do that. If you want to come in and you want to do something different and just give the server the menu and ask, ask, ask us to uh, cook dinner for you, we'll be happy to do that and we'll pair wine with that. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in the well house or at a regular table or upstairs, we'll always be happy to pair wine with uh, anything that you're eating. Well, Rob, thanks so much for being with us. And if you're interested in coming down to Spring House, it's right here at Russell Crossroads off Highway 63. Most beautiful views on Lake Martin and the best food in this area, no doubt. Thanks so much for being with us, Rob. Thanks. Because they're yours, you will do what you can to make it better for them. You will balance the instinct to protect with the knowledge that life is to be experienced. You will try to smooth their road, but you will not flatten it. You will allow the choices to be theirs. Because they're your children. They're your parents. They're you. Russell Medical Center. Helping you make better health care choices. Catherine's Market is the heartbeat of Russell Crossroads, bringing our customers the finest provisions found anywhere. We search long and far to bring the finest products from around the world. We also strive to feature the best and most unique in local and regional products. At Catherine's, produce means fresh. We work with local farmers to offer produce that was just harvested, so the freshness and quality are at their peak. That's Catherine's at Crossroads.com, phone 256-215-7070. The unique fabric of THY Enterprises, Inc. was developed and perfected over several years. THY offers t-shirts, camisoles, comfort bras, boxers, and shirts that are perfect in the gym, on the playing field, or under a business suit. THY also offers thermals that have been tested and proven to provide excellent first layer protection not only to the military, but in any outdoor activity. THY is 100% made in the USA. Check them out at Ellic City Marine or online at THYEnterprises.com. Lee Apparel is proud to announce that we are expanding to a full-service marketing company. Lee Marketing Group offers four great brands. Lee Apparel for t-shirts, polos, and promotional products. Southern Sports for athletic uniforms and equipment. Sign Source is a full-service sign provider. And R&B Media for website design and TV and radio production. Now with two great locations, Highway 280 in Dable and Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lee Marketing Group, bringing your name to the world. Hi, I'm Lola Palooza from Wildman Steve Radio, internet radio at wildmansteve.com with the events you should know about for this week ending. January the 4th. In Auburn on Friday night, celebrate New Year's Eve with the Zig Tones at the world famous War Eagle Supper Club. In Birmingham, you can celebrate New Year's Eve with 
Cattle. That's right, Friday night at Metro Bistro. And in Atlanta, some great shows. Wednesday night, Colonel Bruce Hampton and Lingo are at Smith's Old Bar. And you can celebrate New Year's Eve in Atlanta Friday night with Soul Hound at Bailey's Pub and Grill. Or the Mosier Brothers at the Old Crow Grill and Tavern. Those are the highlights, and you can learn more on the events you should know about page at wildmansteve.com. I'm Lola Palooza, your afternoon host on Wild Me and Steve Radio, saying go see live music. It will make your brain bigger and your soul more satisfied. Happy New Year. Welcome back to Sports Blitz Live, presented by JR Sports Bar and Grill here in the Auburn Opelika Review segment of our show. We want to encourage everybody to go to Channel 80 and 82.12 to catch the latest version of Auburn Opelika Review with the host right here beside me, Randy Lee, and a lot of a lot of great added pieces from the Corner News down in Auburn, and there's always a good feature of somebody that either you or somebody else has interviewed on the show, Randy, so we encourage people to watch the Auburn Opelika Review as, as often as you can, but uh, we do a sports segment, obviously, in the show, mm-hmm. and it, that is here now. And uh, we'll start off by talking some women's basketball because uh, we don't quite give the attention we need to to, to women's basketball, but uh, Auburn women's doing a lot better than the Auburn men. Well, they're five and six. Their upcoming schedule is Jacksonville State is at Auburn on December the 30th and on January the 2nd. Auburn is at Alabama as we get the SEC schedule kicked off. That'll be a big match up there. Some girls high school basketball that will throw some quick hitters out there. The Lady Bulldogs win 57-24 to over Lafayette. That's the Opelika girls. Tiani uh, Jones led the Bulldogs who are now 8-5 and five with 10 points. The, Alabama, the Auburn high school girls win first round game. Haley Bentley led the Tigers with 9 points there. The Borgard girls down Lynette. Ariel Mitchell scored 18 points to lead Beauregard. And the Valley girls run past Lochapoca, Ricky Wilson, and Cadessa Avery. Each scored 10 points for the Rams. So congratulations to all of those. Our Area Coach of the Year. And uh, actually, we'll do the Area Coach of the Year. Earned his 200th win this season and another trip to the Super 6. And that's Jackie O'Neill from Realtown. The Realtown Rebels lost 34-7 in the Class 2A state title game to Leroy. But congratulations to Jackie O'Neill again. And Kyle Caldwell is the Area Player of the Year, one of the 12 finalists for the ASWA Mr. Football Award. He was named the Auburn Opelika News 2010 Offensive Player of the Year. He threw for 2,790 yards and rushed for another 450. Also kicked field goals and extra points, 11 of 14 on field goals and 55 of 58 on extra points. Congratulations to him. Kyle Caldwell has had a number of awards come his way in the last couple of weeks. You take a a team full of Kyle Caldwells because of the effort – uh, the skill, he's a, he's a tremendous athlete, but, but the amount of leadership that he gives you on the field is, is unparalleled to, to the other things that you get with, the, with other players. And, you know, he gets criticized all the time for his size. And, you know, uh, he's taken what the good Lord's given him, and he's made absolutely the most of it. And he proves to you that you don't have to be the biggest guy or the strongest guy or whatever out there. He may be the fastest guy on the field when he steps out there, but he takes his, his – attributes and, and, and puts them to work, Randy, and he's a heck of a young man off the field as he is on the field. Make sure to check us out, aoreview.com. Let us know if there are stories out there that you want us to cover. We not only cover sports like we do right here on Sports Blitz Live, but any events that you've got going on, check out the Corner News. They do a great job with a segment on our show each week. You pick up a Corner News throughout the entire city of Auburn and Opelika, right. so uh, make sure to check them out, the Corner News. Lacey Bino does a, a piece on there uh, from Auburn, and uh, you know she does an outstanding job in going around and getting the latest things uh, that are going on in the Auburn uh, Opelika area, especially on the campus at Auburn University. So please uh, tune us in. Randy, you guys do a great job on that show, and we want to encourage people uh, to, to watch Auburn Opelika Review on Charter Channel 80 and 82.12. Lee Apparel is proud to announce that we are expanding to a full-service marketing company. Lee Marketing Group offers four great brands. Lee Apparel for t-shirts, polos, and promotional products. Southern Sports for athletic uniforms and equipment. Sign Source is a full-service sign provider. And R&B Media for website design and TV and radio production. Now with two great locations, Highway 280 in Dable and Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Lee Marketing Group. 
Sperlin Recycling is an Alabama-based recycling company specializing in the recycling of metal, aluminum, and copper. Call on Sperlin Recycling for all of your recycling needs, including demolition, on-site scrap removal, and roll-off services. We will be glad to provide you with professional estimates and quotes. Sperlin Recycling is a family-owned corporation with several generations of experience. Call Sperlin today at 256-234-0903. Definitely, and a lot of a lot of things that's overlooked is the 24 seniors that we have. You know, they played a lot of ball. They won a lot of games, and they also had a, the, the year two years ago when it was at the, pretty much the bottom of just their playing career as far as the wins and losses at Auburn and losing to Alabama the way they did. So they've seen the highs and the lows. And um, these guys been through so much. You know, the situation this year with the stuff that was going on with Cam and this other just different stuff that's out there in the media was. I think it was small to them because they, you know, they went through it. They losing the coach and all different stuff, losing to Alabama and just being at the bottom. So this, this right here was like a slap on the wrist. Them is like, okay, we've been through this. You know, let's go ahead and fight through this. And then you have a guy like Cam that come to work every day, and it doesn't bother him. You know, when you know you you haven't done anything wrong, he just came to practice like it was nothing going on on the outside. So I think it, it was it was a plus just to see uh, Cameron as a, as the an individual out there, and he's still coming to practice and he's still being competitive and being a leader with all the stuff going on and, and, and other players feed off, feed off of him and I think also Coach Chizik does a great job just kind of blocking the, the media out you know and then kind of using it we kind of used it as motivation like a us against the world type of deal and it kind of helped us out you know you would think it would hurt us but it helped us out we use it as motivation well, Travis, uh, a couple things uh, more that I want to talk about, and then we'll move on and talk about your your other career that you're pursuing and, and having a lot of luck with that right now. And uh, and we want to really talk about that and uh, some of the stuff you're going to be giving away. Uh, but I want to talk about a couple players here from Alexander City. Uh, you were teammates uh, with Eric Brock and Marquise Gunn, who were from Alexander City, and that's where our show was filmed. It goes statewide. Uh, Travis throughout uh, Charter Communications, but uh, El Toro Freeman and Michael Goggins, just talk about being around those two young men and, and, and what they do every day at practice because it looks like El Toro really has come on at the end of this season. It looks like Michael has really had his best season as an Auburn Tiger. Yeah, it was, and, that, and that's credit, you know, to uh, Coach Rocker with um, Michael Goggins and Coach Roof with um, El Toro, you know, and, um, you know, Coach Rocker, his track, I mean, his just, his resume speaks for itself, just how he can motivate guys and, and everything, and um, just to see how, because if you, if you notice it, you know, um, Goggins made, you know, he made a mistake, the, the Georgia game, and it cost him a first half for the Alabama game. He stayed focused the whole practice, and you know he first thing he did, and, and, and I took my hat off. And first thing he did was go to Coach Chisholm and apologize. The very next morning, he was the first kid here, true story, first kid here, and he apologized, and he, he was really sincere. You know, Coach Chisholm was like, you know, things happen in the heat of the moment. He, you know, he's like, don't worry about it. You know, didn't really get on him too bad because he just felt so felt so good that the, the, the kid would come right to him the next morning and apologize for for just. Acting out of character because Goggins is not that type of type of player, you know. And um, a lot of things, a lot of people don't see. He sat the first half, and his very first play, he got in the Alabama game. He got a sack, you know. So 
that just shows you how important he is to our defense. And he had, he's had a great, great, great career there for one. And this in this last season, like you said, I, was, I would think his best season. A lot of folks don't know he's probably our strongest defensive lineman, our fastest defensive lineman. He jumped the highest. So, I mean, he, he got all, everything to be a great player. And, you know, he, he showed it out there this year. So I, I'm really happy for him. And on the flip side, of Toro, I had a lot of people know I spent a lot of time with Toro. And um, he's he's come he's he's come a whole whole way around, you know. Just coming from the JUCO ranks, and just run, he all he was used to was run run see ball hit ball. And on this level, it's a little bigger than that. You got to still see ball hit ball, but you got to know when to see ball hit ball. You know, playing within the defense, and I just kind of slowed him down and taught him the game and and told him that okay, it's ten other people around. You can't just make every play, but you can try to make every play. But you got to do your job first. And you know, just watching them. The Alabama game, the SEC championship game. He's really just—he's a playmaker. He's a guy that you gotta. You put him out there, he's gonna play. He's gonna play. Um, he's gonna make plays. Every time he started, I played a lot. He was either—he either led our team with tackles or was second. So he's very productive, you know. So he's—he's he's learning the game and it's slowing down for him. And he's—he's—he's—he's he's, he's just—he's he's add, he adds so much toughness and just explosiveness to our defense. And he's gonna be a great, great player before he leaves. Well, Travis, uh, you know, that's good news there. And, you know, those are just two of the of the whole team that, that really uh, take that attitude is, you know, when I get my opportunity, when I'm called upon, you know, I'll do what I've got to do to make the team better. But let's let's move on and talk about the Oregon Ducks real quick. You guys are breaking their film down. I know you're studying them. Uh, talk about that team that, uh, that Auburn will be playing on January 10th. Oh, Oregon Ducks, a great team. Great team. And, and I'm not just saying it because it's the right thing to say. Like, I watch film on them, and they are really, really good. Fast, like everybody know. They speed us up, like everybody know. Um, the running back is the best running back we, we've seen. I'm talking about better. He's probably better than – he's not probably. He is better than every running back we've faced. I mean, he was up for the highest one, so, of course, he, he is. Um, so, we got we got to figure out a way to get him on the ground. And he's tough. He's a small back, of you, and, and it kind of shocks you that he can run the ball 30 times and take hits that he takes. And, and he tried to deliver hits also. So, um – it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a definitely a tough task for our defense and, and on the flip side, I watch their defense and they do a different thing, a lot of different packages. They blitz here and blitz here and try to try to confuse you. So I, I know for I know for a fact it's gonna be a, a great game to watch. Um, we play them on on the tenth. So they 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 coach well. They do what they do and they, and everybody knows what they're doing, but they do it so well where they don't they don't really care that you know. So they try to speed you up, get you tired and just continue to run the same players over and over. It might trick you with a different play here and there, but overall, very, very solid team, and I, I can see why they are undefeated, so they could put up points, like, with the snap of the finger stuff. So, um, we got to figure out a way to slow down their offense and come out and just play hard, and at the end, hopefully we could, we could be the champion. Going to be an exciting night in Glendale, Arizona, when uh, Auburn and Oregon take the field. I think definitely the BCS. Uh, they've gotten it wrong several times, but I think they got it right this year. The two best teams, college football, will be facing off uh, that night. Travis, let's move on and talk about your your uh, music career and uh, your name in the music business is T Will, and uh, your new album is Undefeated. And uh, I know a lot of motivation probably behind that album right here with this football team and maybe uh, some of the the teams that you were a part of at. Uh, at Auburn University. Just talk about your album and uh, also uh, uh, if people purchase your album on iTunes uh, uh, they can win some big prizes can't they? Yeah most definitely this is what I have going on. I've been doing music for a few years now. I've, I've done um, the Tiger Walk and I also have another song uh, Amazing Champion that's just, just released that's getting a lot of views on YouTube. Um, what I did I finished my album it was 17 tracks and I, also, I put it on all digital um, outlets, the iTunes, the Amazons, and Zooms, different different digital outlets that you could go go pick and buy. And what I'm doing is um, the person that buys my album and he's email me their receipt. They get in get in a running for the win national championship tickets. I, I was gonna give away three. Now I'm giving away six just because the response has been so crazy. And I, I'm reading everybody's emails. I'm trying to like, man, I can't give everybody a ticket, but I I could, I could afford three more to buy. Just because I want to help so many people out, and just I just want to support the people that support me. It's, it's kind of my little thank you to them. So I'm giving away a signed helmet, a signed uh, jersey, a signed uh, SEC championship uh, T-shirt, and also three national championship uh, tickets. I mean, I'm sorry, six national championship tickets. And um, pretty much how you can win the the album entitled is um, Undefeated. 
and how you can win you can just buy the, you buy the album and then you email me the receipt and or the order number and my email is amazingchampion at gmail.com um, you email it to me and I'm going to randomly pick people on the, on the 27th call them out on Ustream if they're not on the Ustream I'm going to email them also just to let them know they want the tickets and um, that's pretty much how, how, how I go and, and the story behind Undefeated is kind of it's kind of special to me because it's undefeated in so many ways. Undefeated on the field this year in 04, that's pretty. That's one of the reasons. It's undefeated in life. My whole thing is if you get knocked down and you get back up, you're not defeated. You're undefeated. So my thing is, like, even when I was coming out of um, high school, when I was coming out of Columbia, South Carolina, um, the Gamecocks didn't want me. Clemson didn't want me. Nobody wanted me. Auburn was my only offer, my only offer, and I jumped on it because I was like, whoa, this is my only one. So I jumped on it, and it ended up being a blessing for me. Because I end up coming here all SEC, I end up going undefeated, been on the undefeated team, team captain, leaving to go for, play for Atlanta a few years before I hurt my back, and I also had um, so I was I feel like I was undefeated in that in that mark, and then I also had teachers when I was coming up saying, okay, I don't know if you you should go to a big school, I don't know if you're you're, you're reading and you're writing, I don't know if it's, it's up up the par for that. And last Monday I just graduated with my master's, so I beat the odds with that. So I think the whole undefeated. It's just behind someone telling you no or someone trying to knock you down and you beat the odds. If you always get up, you're undefeated. So this album, it's all of that in one. So I have um, albums, I have music for football, I have music for the struggle, I have dancing music, I got inspirational music and all that. It's, it's 17 tracks. And um, that's why I entirely undefeated because I think, you know, anytime you get up and you win a battle or if you just get up here when you're not down, you're undefeated. So that's the story behind the album. And um, it's doing well on iTunes and a lot of people... It, having great words to say about it and um, hopefully the people continue to buy it and I'm going to give away them six tickets and a signed helmet and a signed ball and someone to be happy out there. Well, Travis, i tell you what, uh, all the props to you and uh, uh, being able to, to maintain a, 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 you know, your education and finishing in, in graduate school, uh, maintaining the long hours working with this football team and also working on a, a, an album with 17 tracks that is now out. Uh, as you said, to be purchased on iTunes. And, again, we'll continue to promo this for you, Travis. And, uh, again, real quick before we let you go, you will be perform- Will you be performing in Glendale? I think I heard that. Yeah, I will be. I will be actually – it will be actually in Scottsdale on the 9th at the um, – I think it's an alumni party or something. Somebody is putting together. It's a big deal, and they called me. I know it's the day before the game. And I usually kind of rest, and, you know, the other graduate assistant, they'll just go hang out or whatever. But I usually <laughs> – I usually rest. I'll be in game mode like I'm about to play. But um, so many people been wanting me to re- um, perform tonight, and I just said, okay, I'll, I'll do it this night. And, um, and I'm going to put on the show. It's going to be a great show. I'm definitely going to um, get the people. I, I can't say their money's worth because it's free for everybody to come, so that's a good thing. So, um, But I'm definitely going to give them – it's going to be worth them come out for the show. The show is going to be great. I have a good little show to put together. It's going to be 20 minutes. And I'm definitely come out. It's going to be at the Upper Deck Sports Bar in um, Scottsdale, Arizona. Well, Travis, looking forward to it. I'll be out there. I look forward to coming out and catching that uh, myself. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best. Wish Auburn nothing but the best. And uh, looking forward to two shows, yours and then the one on, on the 10th. Most definitely. Most definitely. And mo- once again, thank you for having me on. And I, and I, and I definitely um, I got to check your show out, man. I wish y'all nothing but success. And anytime y'all need me, just give me a holler and I'll come back on. But once again, thanks a lot for having me on. Well, Travis, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you out there. Okay, no problem. All right. Thank you so much. That's Travis Williams, a.k.a. T-Will, with his new album, Out Undefeated. And you can go to iTunes to purchase that and then email your receipt at amazingchampion at gmail.com to have a chance to win six national championship tickets along with a signed jersey, signed helmet, and a signed SEC championship T-shirt. For tuning in to the Auburn Opelika Review from downtown Auburn, we look forward to hearing from you. Make sure to check us out on the website, Twitter, and Facebook. And again, look forward to talking to you next week. For Justin Clayton, I'm Randy Lee saying tune in next week to the Auburn Opelika Review. Get out.